Despite being straightforward to plug in and use, Thunderbolt as a whole can be a little complex around the edges. At CalDigit, we get all kinds of questions about our docs, so we look through all our social media accounts to find the most common questions that you have been asking, and we're here today to answer some of those. If you're curious about what a Thunderbolt dock can really do, you're in the right place. My name's Dalton, let's get to it. Let's start with a popular question. Can you connect one Thunderbolt dock to two computers at the same time? The answer is maybe, but it really depends on how you look at it. Oftentimes when this question is asked, the intent is to have two separate computers connected to one dock, with all the connected peripherals like keyboards and mice working on both computers at the same time. This idea of having multiple host connections doesn't work. Thunderbolt docks can only have one host connection at a time. However, if you're looking to transfer files between two Thunderbolt computers, this can be possible, especially through a Thunderbolt dock. This feature is called Thunderbolt networking. It's a little too complex to explain how to set up here, but we'll provide some supplemental links in the description below if you wanna take a deeper dive. Using high refresh rate monitors is an often sought after feature that does in fact work with Thunderbolt docks. On screen are some possible resolution and refresh rate combos possible with our lineup. Just make sure to note that not all docks support the same targets. You can also find these graphics and additional information on both our knowledge base and a separate video we did on this topic, both linked below. In general, going for higher refresh rates may limit maximum possible resolution, but whether that actually matters depends on your particular needs. What about getting additional monitors? Thunderbolt can natively support up to two external monitors via a single connection, meaning that Thunderbolt docks are normally only able to support up to two monitors at once. Despite this limitation, it is actually possible to get additional external monitors. To do this, it's necessary to leverage a technology called DisplayLink. Where monitors are usually driven by hardware like a graphics card, DisplayLink uses software to add additional monitors. DisplayLink is sometimes built into docs, and while we don't officially support DisplayLink, you can add the functionality to pretty much any dock, including ours, with a USB adapter. This also works for computers that only support a single external monitor, like base level M1 and M2 devices. Our next question is about whether connecting non-USB-C or DisplayPort monitors are supported by our docks. And yes, HDMI and other types of monitors are supported. You'll just need to use an adapter or cable to convert the monitor into something that the dock can use. If you want to use the DisplayPort on one of our docks for a non-DisplayPort monitor, you have to use an active DisplayPort adapter. These active adapters do the work of converting the dock's DisplayPort signal into HDMI or whatever other specification your monitor's using. It's mandatory if you intend to use the DisplayPort connection on one of your docks this way. The USB-C and Thunderbolt port can convert to HDMI or any other specification, no problem. Our last question on monitor connectivity is about whether the different monitor options offered on our TS3 Plus and TS4 make any kind of visual difference. And the answer is no. In fact, video displayed over Thunderbolt uses DisplayPort, so the two ports are pretty much identical, at least when it comes to the visual quality that you can expect. The reason that we include both options is so that users have more flexibility in how they connect their monitors. In general, we recommend that you use the display port first if possible, if only to keep that extra Thunderbolt port available because that's valuable real estate. We occasionally get asked if our Thunderbolt docks can work without a power supply, and the short answer is no. Our powered docks like the Element Hub, TS3 Plus, and TS4 all provide a significant amount of consistent power to each USB port and downstream Thunderbolt port present on the dock far too much for a computer to supply. This is in addition to the power the dock can provide directly to the computer. And all this power absolutely needs a dedicated power source. You don't need to worry about a Thunderbolt dock providing too much power to your computer, as some users have inquired. 
When a charging device and computer connect to each other, they go through a kind of handshake where they learn all the relevant information about each other, and then they come to an agreement on how much power to pass along. Thunderbolt docks will change how much power they give to a particular computer based on the computer's individual needs. It's also worth noting that you can safely plug in multiple power sources into a single computer. That power handshake happens every time a new power source is connected, and it can tell devices not to pass on power. In the case of using a desktop with its own dedicated power source, the computer will always tell any other power sources, like a dock, not to provide any power. Simple as that. Something similar happens when a laptop has multiple connected power sources, with the computer generally favoring the computer's own power cable when it recognizes it. Our final power-related question has to do with capacity. As we alluded to before, our Thunderbolt docks can supply a massive amount of power, and users are sometimes curious if it's always accessible. And well, yes, our power supplies are designed to be big enough to always have enough power available for every single USB and Thunderbolt port to pull their full allotted power all at the same time, including the host computer. On the TS4, that's over 200 watts accessible across the entire dock. While we don't officially support Linux, on a hardware level, Thunderbolt docks are absolutely compatible with Linux systems. The main reason that we don't support Linux officially is because it's just such a wide and deep ecosystem. So the answer is yes, it should, but it might be a bit of extra work. But that hasn't stopped several of our happy Linux customers. Our final question is about temperature. Heat is a normal part of pretty much every piece of technology, and Thunderbolt docks are complex tech, capable of interfacing with tons of devices at once, which definitely generates some heat. So yeah, some heat is expected. Our Thunderbolt station lineup, like the TS3 Plus and TS4, use fins placed all around the dock to help dissipate that heat. In order for these and other docks to best function, we recommend giving the dock some space. Avoid stacking things on top of the dock or mounting it flush under your desk where the dock can't breathe. If you're laying the dock sideways, make sure to use the included rubber feet to help get some air under the dock and better cool it because every bit helps. And that's all that we have for today. We hope this helps clear up any questions you may have about our products. If you have any lingering questions, please post them and we'll be happy to answer in the comments. If there's enough questions, we might even do a follow-up video. If you need any technical support with our products, please get in touch with one of our support teams. Some contact methods are on screen now, and more are down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.